A direct current I flows along a lengthy straight wire like this. From the point O, the current spreads radially all over an infinite conducting plane perpendicular to the wire. Find the magnetic induction at all points of space. So to visualize this, you can think of as a sprinkler. So water comes here and then radially in all direction, the water flows out. So similarly, this is the inverted figure. So if I invert this figure, this is how the current is coming like this and then it's spreading in all directions. So here let us uh, take the directions as x, y, this is the plane in which the current is spreading and its current is coming from top from the z direction. So we are find we are supposed to find the magnetic induction at all points in space. So first let us take a point P above this plane, above the xy plane and later we will think what will happen below the plane. So we have taken one point P above the plane. Let's take a point P above the x axis, above the plane and above the x axis also. So we have randomly taken any direction as x. So what result we get at this point will be same as all the results which we'll get on all these radial points. So this is the front view where z, z is going up and this is the top view where you cannot see the z axis. So this is the xy plane. So let us see step by step uh, what, let's analyze this situation. So due to straight part of the wire, which is this part, B will be tangential to this circular path. This we already know. Due to symmetry, due to this straight wire part alone, the field here will be tangential to the circular path. Now due to flat part of the current, this is a bit tricky. So we cannot, how can we say, can we comment anything about the direction of field here because of the flat part, the shaded part. So how we will resolve this is we qualitatively find B due to two current elements symmetric to point P. So current is flowing through in radial direction like this through all the shaded region. So let us take two of the uh, elemental currents here, so di and di. And let's see what the value of field will be because of these two elemental wires. Now, if uh, you use your right hand thumb rule and if your imagination is very good, you'll be able to figure out that due to these two current elements, the field comes perpendicular to the x-axis and in xy plane so towards down, basically in negative y direction. So we'll visualize it, uh, we'll again see it in detail in next to next slide. For now, just understand that the B is coming in minus Y direction. Then how we can solve it? How it's coming in minus Y direction, we'll again see in some time. But if you can visualize very strongly, I suggest you try. Maybe you'll be able to figure out why the field because of these two symmetric current elements is towards minus Y direction. So db at p due to these two elements is perpendicular to x-axis in xy plane like this. Therefore, for all such pairs, b will be perpendicular to x-axis in xy plane. So we have taken this random angle theta. So if you take any other two pairs and similarly, if you just keep taking all the pairs, you will complete all the, the whole plane. So for the whole plane, all the fields will be coming in this direction. So either down or up, perpendicular to x-axis and in xy plane. So for all such pairs, B will be perpendicular to x-axis in xy plane. Therefore, direction of B is tangential to a circular symmetrical path surrounding z-axis. So this is the same circular path. So if we see from the top, it will look like this. So here we saw that due to the straight part of the current, field was tangential to the circle and here due to the flat part of the current also field is tangential to the circle. Now we'll use this to in our Ampere's law. 
so because of the both the straight part and the flat part b is tangential to the circle and due to symmetry now we can say that all the points it will be tangential and its value will be same so by ampere's law we can say b dot dl is mu naught times i in so above xy plane it's uh, the line integral is b into integral of dl which is 2 pi r is equal to mu naught i so i current is crossing through the loop so b is mu naught i by 2 pi r this is above xy plane which if you recall is the same result which is for the long wire now below the plane if you go so again let's say there will be some field b so we have already seen that because of the flat part it will be tangential to the circle and straight wire is uh, due to this part of the wire again it will be tangential so b into 2 pi r by symmetry again we can say it is mu naught into 0 because there is no current crossing the loop so b comes to be 0 now let us see that proof where we can see that due to the flat part of the current the field is in this direction so let's visualize that so we have broken so again this is the first these are the two current elements first take this current element and again take a circular so the uh, the field due to this current element alone will be along this tangent of tangent of the circle so this is you are seeing again from the top so p point is above the x axis so this will be the direction of the field tangential to this circle so you can write this as let's these are the some random numbers a i cap minus b j cap so again you can imagine so this is this is the inside the plane and it's coming out it's again going inside the plane so if it is going inside the plane it is negative z direction and you can see it is minus y direction also so a i cap minus b j cap minus c k cap now for this because of this part of the wire this elemental wire so the loop will be in the field will be in this direction so negative of a see magnitude is same for both so magnitudes of db1 and db2 db2 are same as value of current is same both are di and distance of p from both the elemental wires is also same because this is just in center of both the wires so this in vector form we can write as minus a i cap minus b j cap so negative y direction plus c k cap because this time the wire is coming out and going up so this is the top part of the wire this is little bit below so this is coming out of the plane which is plus z direction so plus c k so if you superimpose both of them so we need to find basically the field due to the wire one and wire two so this will be a db1 plus db2 which comes out to be minus 2b j cap so here mathematically also you can see that the field net field will be in minus y direction so only y component means so once we know that then we can comfortably use ampere's law and find the value of field so above it is mu naught i by 2 pi r same as long wire and below the plane below the xy plane it is zero